Hello, welcome to the second episode of the Dottocast and Examples. Uh, today we'll be taking notes on this article called Why Categories for Your Note Archive Are a Bad Idea. Hopefully this process can give you a better idea of how I use Zettelkasten, and hopefully you can take this to improve your Zettelkasten workflow. Um, also, feel free to suggest articles you want me to read next week. Anyways, let's get right into it. So the first point, first note I write, current organization techniques require you to make many decisions which add lots of friction to note taking. And I link, too many decisions cause inaction. So I really came across this note, or this note came to mind when reading about how uh, this, this, uh, the author's friend had a lot of struggle in knowing what to do because they don't have like a decision framework that they've set up for themselves. And it just goes to show how like organization with categories is just requires a lot of decision. And this decision prevents us from really doing action and action. I mean, is by taking notes. Um, so for my next point, fleshing out categories is like setting up a routine. And I link again, routines are a shortcut to decision making. So when I say routines are shortcut to decision making, I feel that because uh, they really predefine some set of steps that we need to follow. And when we predefine things like this, they reduce the amount of decisions we need to make. And just like how the author was trying to do, like they were trying to set up like a predefined set of categories for themselves or like a routine for them to follow to organize their notes. and. They struggled with that because Zettelkasten doesn't follow that same sort of organization um, methodology. So for my next point, I write organizing by categories is like organization with a tree structure. Um, and when I say tree structure, I mean it sort of involves grouping things in a hierarchical format where groups contain subgroups. And yeah, so after that, my next note with organization with the tree structure. Uh, new notes don't fit the structure either because of compromise in organization or modification to the structure. Um, so for this note, it's like how when we take notes with like folders or tags, sometimes like we don't know, like we, we, let's say we predefine like a set of tags or folders for us. Like there's going to there's gonna be a day where a note comes where like it doesn't fit any of that structure that we predefined for ourselves. And there's two things we can do. Um, we can either compromise in the organization, as in not organizing it, or organizing it very poorly, or we modify the structure, um, which can take a lot, even more like, which is even more decision making for on our part. So on the other hand, um, the brain has like an organic structure, um, and I write a little bit and how I go through in depth in this. Uh, link is I write the brain is a network of ideas. Uh, the structure is dynamic and grows unlike organization with the tree structure. So I know they say this a little bit in the article, like how our brains are like growing and um, they're not rigid in structure. Um, so yeah, so I really wanted to expand a bit upon that because I know that like the brain contains a network of neurons and these connections are like strengthened based on use. It's why if you don't use it, you lose it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so just the notion that like we use like folders and tags to like organize our notes currently and our brain like works with connections and stuff and like neurons and stuff and ideas and stuff like that. Like these are like two very different things. And that's where I feel like a lot of the, a lot of pain points with like organization comes with, like we have these like difficult rigid structures and we're trying to really fit them in like fit like something that's like growing and organic into these structures. So that leads to my next point. It's difficult and time consuming to update rigid structures. Uh, for example, organization with the tree structure. So because these structures are so rigid and we have these systems around them, um, it takes a lot of like thinking to be able to figure out what folders to add, where to add the folders to really fit and make it a good structure. Um, yeah. So the last note I wrote is starting is always better than not doing. 
Um, so yeah, they even in the article itself, it says that like starting, it's always better to start than to than to not start. And the reason I think is that when we start something, we can get things done. And getting things done is great um, because like even if we go about the wrong direction. Uh, we can still get the real experience from doing the thing rather than not doing anything. And yeah, that's it for all my notes. Thanks for listening.